Hi guys and welcome to Precious Diaries. Here on this channel we're all about personal growth and embracing who we're created to be. So if this is your kind of vibe, please do stick around. So before we get right into today's topic, please do like this video and also subscribe to my channel. So without further ado, let's dive into today's topic. <music> Okay, so today I'm going to talk about um, living with severe anxiety. So basically, like, I've been living with this condition for quite a long time now. And in the past, I didn't know what it was. I didn't know or understand what was happening with me. And so I decided to start doing research. So today I'm just going to share my experience with um, anxiety and all of that. So an anxiety disorder is a mental health condition which causes you to respond to certain things and situations with dread and fear. So basically, if something triggers your emotions, like you're going to overreact, you're going to start overthinking of what if this happens? What if this doesn't happen? So basically, it even makes it difficult for you to get through the day. It makes it difficult for you to even be productive, you see. But there's also different kinds and types of um, anxiety disorders. So I'm going to name them. I think there's six. There's six of them. So the first one is a uh, panic disorder. And then there is phobia. And then there's so social anxiety. There's over compulsive disorder. And then there's separation anxiety. The last one is illness anxiety disorder and if you'd like me to go in depth and explain all of these disorders please come do comment down below i'll most certainly do that so how does um anxiety look like what are the symptoms how what happens to you when you start being anxious so before i even get into that um here's what i want to say um for me to be sure that I have um, anxiety, this is what I had to do. Um, so I took an anxiety um, test from this other reliable website. So basically, um, they would scale your level of anxiety from there is okay the low and the low, and then there's the mild, and then there's the severe. So when I took the test, I got 19 out of 21, meaning that I'm on the severe side of anxiety. You see, that's when I realized that, okay, really, this is like a serious problem. Because when you have severe anxiety, you get anxious like most of the time, like literally, like it's on a day to day basis. It's not something that happens once in a while because, yeah, it does happen that you're anxious sometimes, you know, that's healthy. You know, it does happen that you do get anxious sometimes. But then when your anxiety becomes like a regular thing and it starts affecting your day to day life, then now it's really a serious condition. So, as I was saying before, that uh, I'm going to discuss the, the symptoms of um, severe anxiety. So, there's, there's different things that happen to you. You could find yourself getting paranoid. You get panic attacks. You're feeling sick. Like, literally, you feel like you're nauseous. You know, there's trembling. There's shaking. And then now the next thing is you're feeling very irritable and ease. And then you have muscle aches. It's just like... It, you just can't focus you just like you lose focus when you're anxious there's no way that you can be um focused when you're really 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 anxious like because it's like literally you focus on whatever is worrying you at that time you can't think of anything else you can't function it's like even if you try to um you know take your focus away from the fact that you're anxious about this it just doesn't help it it just it just doesn't happen you know it feels like most of the time you're just like in hell that is how i describe it it makes me feel like i'm in hell you know that is just my experience with it so i have like 11 points of how like visually like you know um anxiety looks like the kind of things that to expect or things that happen with a person who's like who's, who lives with this kind of condition and also i'm going to share my experience of it and give you examples from my own experience of um what really happens you know when you anxious and stuff like that so the first point is zoning out and de-association so basically this happens like um for me it happens when i'm around people you know you just you present like physically you there 
but mentally you're just not there anymore you know you just go into this you know loop of just like thinking of different things you know like you just stay overthinking you know you're just not present you know in whatever that is happening at the moment i hope i'm explaining this quite well and the second one is reassurance and over apologizing which is something that when you're anxious you tend to overthink everything so you find yourself you know seeking reassurance from um, your loved ones in a sense of that there's times that you might feel like okay this person doesn't love me enough and then they have to be there reassuring you that no i do care about you you know it's because you overthink you know just a simple thing as oh she did not call me today and then now you start thinking that oh maybe she doesn't care about me anymore maybe i'm just not important you know and also when you make a mistake or you do something you just stay apologizing over and over and over again so the third one it is picking your nails picking your skin and biting your lips basically with this one is that like i i do the one of biting my lips like you just stay when you anxious you, you find people you see those people who are always like you know picking on their skin you know they're picking on their nails and stuff like that some people have anxiety they do that a lot and i can surely imagine how it looks like for a person who is living with severe anxiety and you they anxious 24 7 like most of the time you're just anxious so practically you're gonna be there picking your skin most of the time that is what happens and then the fourth one is you stay up late because you just can't sleep like how do you sleep if you just stay overthinking there is no sleep when you're just sitting there you're thinking of the different kinds of scenarios that are happening and you end up lose, losing sleep because now i can't sleep because my mind is just overthinking i'm in this loop of constantly replaying the same thing the same um negative connotations of situations over and over again and the fifth one is overly obsessing about like the worst case scenario you see this one like i'm i'm, I'm strongly guilty of this one because it's like I always think of the worst thing ever you know if i'm excited especially when i'm starting to do like something new or if i'm starting a new business i'm just gonna be there worried about the fact that what if people won't support my business what people what if people are gonna make fun of me what if i won't make money what if this will go wrong what if that won't happen you know you just stay always ready and thinking about the worst you just can't even be positive about the thing that you're supposed to be positive about you're supposed to be there i'm supposed to be there excited about the fact that hey precious you're starting a business you should be proud of yourself but no i'm here thinking of the things that could possibly go wrong and the sixth one is constantly questioning my words and my actions i do this a lot like in terms of like if i'm having a conversation with someone and then after that conversation when i go home i'm just there like man precious why did you say that you shouldn't have said that that is not how you're supposed to speak you know and then even with my actions it's like why did you have to do that like really now you know like even if it's just something that is not even that bad you know but i'm just there i question each and every single thing that i do basically it's like i put my life under a microscope that why are you like this why are you like that it's like practically i'm being unkind to myself like i just can't show myself love and appreciation it's like oh no you're supposed to be perfect why are you making mistakes you know um i don't know if there is a relationship between perfectionism and anxiety but i've realized that with myself that um i tend to be quite a perfectionist and I also tend to be like really anxious and it's like, you know, my perfectionism, it just really spikes up my, um, my anxiety. And the seventh one is that, um, you rehearse like a script for when you have to like place an order, like for food or anything, or when, or when you have to make an appointment, like, it's just that you think about what am I going to say? Okay. When I get there, I'm just going to be like, um, hi, okay. Um, I'm here to set an appointment, you know, um, is it possible for me to come through on a Thursday? And then you're like, okay, no, 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 this is not right, this is not right, okay, let me try again. Hi, um, how are you doing? I'm here to set an appointment, so I just wanted to know when, when are you guys available, when can, I, when, when can you guys see me and stuff like that. Literally, you're gonna keep on replaying this and replaying it like as if you're crazy, and then when you actually go, and do what you're supposed to do and when you come back you're like nah man you didn't say what you're supposed to say this is not part of the script you didn't practice this you messed up you should have done better that is literally how it looks like with anxiety and the eighth one is cancel plans 
this one i do this a lot because like i tend to have like social anxiety because i get so anxious around people i just can't be around a lot of people i basically i i can't it's just not me it's just not my vibe i really can't and if i feel like i'm not going to be comfortable I'm j i just cancel i could be like ah oh no we're gonna go out and stuff like that and then two days before i'm just like nah that is just not me i can't do that because i'm thinking of oh if i go out i'm gonna have to spend my money and i could do better things with this money you know i'm just saying maybe i could buy myself like you know some yarn and make that cute top that i've always wanted instead of going out for lunch or it's just the matter of um maybe i could just you know buy myself the snacks that i've always wanted to buy and stuff like that that is just what happens like you see the one of cancelling plans like i'm guilty of it because i get really anxious around people i love my own space i love just you know being alone so it's difficult for me to be around people. and the ninth point is um you magnify your mistakes this is something that i do a lot it's just the point of you look at yourself you're like why did you do that like why are you doing that why are you behaving like this you know you should do better you smart you know better so why did you make this silly stupid mistake you see so basically this is how it looks like and the 10th point is i compare and evaluate my life to others literally this one is we all know guys that comparison is the thief of joy but when you anxious you're gonna do this a lot you're gonna put your own life on a magnifying glass. You're just gonna be there looking at everything. You're like, oh, this person has this. And I'm supposed to be at this level, but I'm not. Because, oh no, this person has this. I'm supposed to be here at the level, but I'm not. What are you doing, precious? What makes you like think that you, you can't make it? Like, what's wrong with you? That person can't do better than you pull yourself together hello you see so it's just a really difficult kind of situation that you just find yourself that you compare yourself a lot which is something that i've been guilty of a lot i compare everything from oh my relationship that oh no my relationship doesn't look like that other person's relationship and then and it's like the moment i start comparing my life or anything that i like or anything that i'm passionate about it's like the love that I had for whatever that I had and the, appreci the appreciation that I had, it just goes away, you know? It's like the fastest way to destroy or to devalue anything that you love and you, pers you, and you personally care about, literally compare it. Compare it to something else and then you're just gonna lose it, basically. And finally, the last point, like this one is a very common one, which is um overthinking literally everything you just the overthinking everything that is happening in your life you just overthink you know it's like even a simple thing you know even a simple thing as okay i need to um for me when i had to record this video it was quite difficult because i'm like oh what if i won't look good on the camera what if I don't know much about anxiety? What if people are going to think that this girl is weird? Like, what are you doing? You know, it, it's been so difficult, you know, especially um, with right now that I just decided, okay, precious, you need to start your own YouTube channel. And then right now, I'm just like, oh, you're going to be the joke. People are going to be laughing at you. That look at her. She's so pathetic. What who, do, who the hell does she think she is? And stuff like that. But honestly, like, it's... You see the overthinking one is really the worst one ever because it's like you replaying the same thing over and over and over again in your mind and do you ever get anything done no you don't it's like you don't you don't end up doing the things that you've always wanted to do for your life because you just stay overthinking and then at the end of the day you're gonna be looking at your mistakes and you're just gonna be there like why didn't you do this what is so difficult for you to get up and do it? Why couldn't you just focus on mind over matter, precious? It's mind over matter. So why are you there worried about things that that you don't even know whether they're gonna happen or not? If people are gonna laugh at you, let them laugh at you. And then now I'm just here, you know, criticizing myself for the fact that I didn't do what I wanted to do because I was overthinking. You see.
how am I handling my anxiety? So the first thing that's help you, helping me with handling my anxiety is prayer. Like I pray a lot. If I feel anxious about something or I feel like some type of way and I feel like my anxiety is going to spike up, I just light a white candle and I pray. And this I have found that it's been really therapeutic, you know, is that I'm just giving everything to God. You know, I'm laying it all out there and I'm surrendering it all to God. That has helped me a lot because um, there was there was this one point in my life that I did it like consistently each and every single day at 6 p.m you know and i saw a difference in myself that i was less anxious you know i was really getting better because i tend to get anxious about everything so yeah and the second thing is self-awareness like i'm like my level of self-awareness is really high you know i'm more likely to see the things that i'm doing wrong because like i'm always putting my life i'm under a magnifying glass like i'm just the you know micromanaging my life i'm that kind of a person so i am able to pick up and notice when okay now things are changing now you're becoming more anxious this is why you react this way because of your anxious so the moment i realize what's happening with me so now i work on finding ways to um manage and deal with the situation and the third thing that really helps me with my anxiety is i'm um, listening to music this really helps me to relax my mind because I really overthink and I think a lot. Like, I really, really think a lot. So, when I'm listening to music, I just don't think about anything. My mind just, like, drifts. Like, it just drifts. And also, like, another thing that I started doing recently is meditating. Like, it's been amazing, but also at the same time like i'm very patient with myself with this because like this is my first time in my meditating in my life so i just meditate for like three minutes and that's it you know i don't push myself to do more you know i'm just you know allowing myself to like literally ease into it and stuff like that and lastly guys i know that um there might be people wondering that why didn't you go why don't you seek like professional help and stuff like that it's something that i've always considered but um the the thing is that on my own i was managing and i was able to do the things that are necessary for me to keep my anxiety in check yes i do have severe anxiety but at the same time i'm just there like i don't want to be the kind of girl who's there taking pills because i'm anxious but i was just like can i just try to manage this on my own yes i do want to start going for like therapy and stuff like that i do want to start doing that soon but i also understand that therapy is quite expensive but i have tried in in the past to um seek professional help i've been and mind you that time i was so broke but then i went to um the clinic and it wasn't really helpful because i had to fill in this long um form and stuff like that and then they just never called me back and i was so disappointed because i did this twice because at that point in my life i was just like i really want to go for therapy even though for counseling and stuff like that because also i know that i can't afford to pay um for such services and stuff like that but one thing that i know for sure is that i'm still gonna do it i'm just gonna find i'm just gonna try and figure it out and find um cheaper ways to literally um get this kind of professional help because i can't keep on doing this on my own i don't know everything yes i know that i'm doing a great job by trying to manage it and educating myself more on the condition that i'm living with but now like th there comes a point whereby now you really need like professional help and we have reached the end of today's topic so please comment down below um what your thoughts are on on anxiety are you living with anxiety do you know much about this condition or do you know anyone who's living with anxiety and if this is your kind of vibe please do like subscribe and share and thank you so much for tuning in until we meet again next time